erratic rainfalls, drought, floods, diseases, pests, land degradation, and inadequate agri-processing facilities are some of the challenges facing the agricultural sector. Local and international researchers will exchange scientific findings and experiences on the challenges the sector faces. Anything that you need to do, really, if you expect good results, must be preceded by scientific research. And that project at Kalimbeza is a perfect example as far as we are concerned. University of Namibia, this campus, the agriculture faculty, was at the forefront in first doing some research in that area and then informing us whether it is possible to grow rice. And those research findings did prove that it can be done. Mutura says research and innovation are important in finding practical solutions to productivity and improving resilience. The minister emphasized that stakeholders such as farmers, environmentalists, policymakers and entrepreneurs need to come on board. On his part, UNAM Coordinating Director for Mining, Research, Development and Training, Professor Osman Mwandemele, called on rural farming communities to be innovative. Mwandemele says agricultural transformation will only be successful on the continent if universities change their approach to training and research. While universities as change agents are expected to catalyze transformation of society through the graduates they produce. This will only happen if academics expose the students to opportunities which will enable them to think and innovate rather than just be passive observers or consumers of knowledge. The conference is being held under the theme Resilience of Livelihoods in a Changing Climate in Southern Africa.